Hi, this is Anthony. In this video of Battery Experts with Anton Parr, we will discuss sample preparation for elemental composition and trace metal analysis of battery materials. For all components used in battery manufacturing, whether it's active materials, electrolyte solutions, or separators, it is crucial to accurately measure the exact elemental composition of these materials and the presence of trace contaminants, as this will have a direct impact not only on the performance of the battery, but also on its safety. To this end, atomic spectroscopy is the technique of choice. There are various technologies used in atomic spectroscopy for the analysis of trace levels of elements within a sample. All of them are based on the ionization of the elements present in a liquid solution. These technologies are atomic absorption, or AA, which typically measures concentrations in the percent to parts per million or ppm levels, inductively coupled plasma optical emission spectroscopy, or ICP-OES, which typically measures concentrations in the ppm to parts per billion or ppb range, inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometry, or ICPMS, which typically measures concentrations in the ppb to parts per trillion or ppt range, and ICP-MSMS, which is also called tandem mass ICPMS, and here concentrations down to the parts per quadrillion or PPQ range can be achieved. But this is more of a research tool. For battery material analysis, ICP-OES or ICP-MS are the most used instruments. These types of analytical instruments cannot measure elements directly. They need the sample to be in a liquid form, as a sample solution. This process of sample preparation for further trace element analysis is called acid digestion. It involves acids and heat to convert solid samples into solutions. This is a crucial step that can greatly affect the analysis results. The various sample preparation techniques for atomic spectroscopy are dilute and shoot, where the sample does not need to be further prepared and all it requires is dilution. But this is not the case for battery materials. Heating with a hot plate, this is an inefficient way to prepare a sample as it would lead to incomplete digestion, consumes a lot of acid, and takes a long time. A digestion block. This is a slightly better method to prepare sample, but would also require long times and would lead to incomplete digestions of battery materials. Fusion flux, or borate fusion. This is a technique used to prepare near homogeneous samples by fusing them in specialized furnaces. But this method is not typically applicable to battery materials, neither. And for the most accurate, most reproducible, most traceable, fastest and safest way to prepare a sample is by microwave-assisted acid digestion. Here, the choice of a microwave device would depend on the type of analysis, for example, R&D versus QC work, and the number of samples. The procedure is as follows. Weigh in the sample in the digestion vial, Add the acid or acid mixture. Close the vials and insert them in the microwave rack. Place the loaded rack in the liner. Cover the liner with the drip cup and transfer it to the instrument. Select the temperature program that is usually saved in the instrument method database. The method can be modified if needed. The temperature during digestion of battery materials can go up to 280 degrees C if necessary. Both temperature and pressure can be monitored during the digestion, depending on the microwave model used. In this example, if the temperature increases steeply due to some potential exothermic reaction, the microwave energy input is reduced. A typical digestion program of battery materials lasts about 45 minutes, including cooling time after the run is over. Once the heating program is finished, the cooling step will start. And finally, after reaching the preset end temperature, like 65 degrees centigrade, the pressure is automatically released. Remove the liner and transfer it to the fume hood. Then, dilute the digested samples to have them ready for elemental analysis by atomic spectroscopy. So, in summary, we have seen how with proper sample preparation by microwave-assisted acid digestion, 
is a crucial step in the analysis of elemental composition of battery materials by atomic spectroscopy.